What's up, Madden 16 gamers? Welcome to another Madden 16 tip, guys. In today's video, we are going to be uh, breaking down our new series. We're bringing back the Scheme of the Week series, and uh, this is kind of our introduction to it. This is our Back to Basics series, kind of get you thinking about some of these things as we get into Madden here. One of the things that I want to showcase uh, right off the bat here is uh, simply how to play the game. Uh, and simply what I want to do in the scheme of the week, kind of the format, kind of the structure of it, and uh, hopefully we'll be showing you that today. Uh, one of the things that we talk about all the time is the five sets for success, and this uh, is a mindset and a schematic way of how we play Madden. The five sets for success states that we're we're trying to do is we're going to try to find a play that is good for any type of situation, so that we we have prepared uh, for any type of situation that we are going to face. There's five sets for success offensively, and there's also five sets for success defensively. In our scheme of the week series, there'll be two. Videos videos every day uh, on an offense and a defense. So first and foremost we're going to be breaking down our offense in the mornings and we'll do our defense in the afternoons. Offensive scheme of the week we're going to focus today on what we call the base formation. Okay, And that's how this is going to work. We're going to have our formation breakdowns and we're going to break down one play uh, every day that you can use. We're going to, By the end of the week you'll have a five play uh, mini scheme that you can go into game and feel confident uh, that you're going to be effective against your opponent. All right, so today we're breaking down a base formation. Now, what I like to look for in a base formation is a couple things. First and foremost is I like to be able to run the football if I if I have a good look. And what I mean by that is the ability to take quick inside zones or quick draws or or things like that. And, and you know, if the defense is if the defense is really showing you a good look to run, then we can use the five sets for success. We can use our base run from our base play formation. The other thing that I like to look for in a base formation is something that I can really be able to see if they're base aligning or not. This is where spread formations, to my, to my knowledge, are very effective. Uh, since the base align and man align has really become a big deal in the last three years, I've really been using this tactic as I look to select my formations. I love to try to find a formation where I can figure out if they base align or if they don't. Typically, if they base align their defense, it means that I can either be facing pressure or I probably will be facing the zone defense. Zone blitz more than likely is what happens. So then I'll read and adjust to that and go into a blitz beater, which is a set that we'll break down a little later on uh, this week. So, anyway, what we want to talk today is base play. So, we are using, I believe we're using the Saints Offensive Playbook to show you this. Uh, this is the formation we're going to be using uh, for this week, but this is just a beginner thing. We're just going to show you some basic concepts. But one of the formations I really like to use is this shotgun doubles week. This is kind of a type of formation that I would use, but here's why I won't use it. Uh, it's because the doubles week... The, the only issue with this is that the tight end is kind of split in, and so if they're in a basic nickel formation, they don't necessarily have to base the line. Uh, so what I like to look for, um, you know, is something with like a spread, so like a tray open. Uh, you know, those are kind of the ones that I look at, spread wise slot as well, um, or even a tight compressed set, but I like to use compressed sets for a different purpose, and we'll break that down later. Um, so here today, what we're going to pick for you guys today is a tray open. Um, so the tray open saint, what it has uh, in it, is it has a couple of things. First and foremost, it has three wide receivers to one side of the field. What this is going to do is it's going to allow us to tell man or zone. It's going to allow us to come out, and we're going to be able to see, okay, is this nickel corner going to come over if he's not? If he doesn't come over, we know they're baseline, and they could be blitzing us. Second thing it's going to do is it's going to be able to give us a, you know, a nice spread format and an ability to beat the blitz, ability to come out and really do well. Um, the, the play we're going to be using uh, today is the Saints halfback angle. In my opinion, the best base play uh, from this set. Now you see we have a couple of different things. First and foremost, we can motion these guys outside. Another thing to notice is that the tight end is split out wide in this formation. One other thing you always want to check and make sure you can audible to all your formations. Here you see we can, uh, and so we have a nice multiplicity of formations we can audible to. Another thing you want to do is check your run, your quick audibles here. We have a play action scene stick, four verticals, inside zone, stick. There's that inside zone. And as you see here, if they don't baseline, we'll take that inside zone. Quick four yards and a cloud of dust uh, for Joseph Randall. But uh, what we want to look for as well with the tray open is we now see, okay, we can read man, we can read baseline on baseline. It's going to give us a good glimpse into if we're going to go into a 2x2 a two two set or a 3x1. What I mean by this is that if they are base aligned, then, they're, then we should probably stay in this tray open because it's an overload to the right side of the field. And watch, you see we're going to have a numbers advantage. Here I'm going to baseline the defense, and you see that they have two corners on the right side of the field and three corners on the left side of the field. They have two corners to guard... Um, Beasley, Bryant, and Williams, whereas on the left they have one, two corners to guard Witten. So this is going to lead us to attack the right side of the field, and what you're going to be able to see here um, is we're going to be able to really kind of 
do a good job over there. Okay, so that's just kind of the idea. If they don't baseline, what you see is they got guys over the top. Then we'll audible into a two by two set because it evens out what they're going to have to do as far as guarding. So now we're going to use natural picks and rubs to beat the defense. Okay, so that's just a little bit uh, of why we do what we do with the base play. Once again, you want to look for something that is like this. Okay. Next thing we want to show is the play breakdown. So we'll just show you how to run this play. Uh, what I like to do is I like to have one option for man, one option for zone, uh, and then one option uh, in case you know they they you know send cover zero blitzes or something at me. The good route that we have on this play is the angle route and the post route. That's a really good combination of routes to that side of the field. What I want to do is I want to you know take something and, and work off that. So first and foremost, I love to hitch Des Bryant. Uh, I think hitch routes are really good this year. The next thing that I want to do is I want to take Terrence Williams and I want to put him on a, uh, or actually I'm going to leave him on the streak. I'm going to take Cole Beasley and I'm going to drag him across, make a little crossing pattern. And what you're going to see here is we're going to be able to hit Cole Beasley quick underneath. And that's what I like. I like to have some quick hot reads out of the base play to really kind of set the tone. And so those are just, and the other thing is you want to look for a play where you only have to hot route two receivers. Uh, normally this year, if you have to hot route more than two receivers, it's kind of hard uh, to get those hot routes in. Here you see the skinny post to Witten. Click on, undercut it. Um, and so that's just kind of how it works. Like I said, we like to practice against, you know, cover three uh, and two man under primarily. We will practice against all the other zones once we have the scheme complete. But what you'll see here is this drag does a nice job at beating man uh, and so we can get a nice quick pass there the other thing that it's going to do is it's going to create a little mesh for us and you'll see creates a little mesh for us underneath and so we can hit a nice little touch pass here to Randall. I really like the touch pass this year guys I think it's really effective so there's that and another thing is we have another quick read against man and the fact that Des Bryant's route is unbumpable when we put him on a hitch route let me show you that we have a couple good reads gear uh, against man, and then what you're going to see is they're going to work well off of one another in zone. Another thing you could do is drag or motion snap Beasley in a little bit. Um, I don't know how effective. I haven't really looked into how effective that is this year, but um, it has been effective in years past, so you could always use something like that. Um, but real quick here, I want to show you Des Bryant's route. Um, just a quick little hitch pattern. Um, you know, get the ball in your hands quick kind of thing. Now we're going to show you a little zone coverage. So we're going to cover three sky. It's in our quick audibles. And what we want to do here is, you know, like I said, I like to look to the right and then to the left. So here the cool part about it is they're going to hold, and Cole Beasley is going to have a nice crossing route underneath for us. As you see, that works really nicely. Another thing that we're going to be able to note is that if they start playing the underneath coverage, so the underneath principles, they try to take Cole Beasley, we're going to be able to hit Witten over the top for a big catch. Got great catch in traffic, really good in my opinion. So that's what we're looking for as far as zone man. Um, and then, of course, we always like to have the option this year to go up for that aggressive catch in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Off coverage, the cool part about it as well is the stock streak that Williams is on is actually a fade. And, and what we're going to look for here is what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to use their safeties bring them down. And what you see is they co if they come down on Cole Beasley, they bring the safety down. That means that I'm going to have a one-on-one, -on -one and I'm going to try to hit... Williams over the top with a 101, and that's against Richard Sermon. You see pretty decent success rate uh, with this little streak here. The other thing also to note is against off coverage, this works really nice. Um, you can actually throw back shoulder um, this year, but it's it's primarily something you want to do if they're in man uh, as far as zone. Let me show you this. That this is just something that I think you can do. Pass lead down the outside, and oh, we got intercepted. So I haven't practiced that enough to show it. I just want I've read about it uh, some in the uh, Madden articles this year, but uh, just something to look at. And then also, like I said, this uh, if you want to pass lead and you got inside position, you know this makes this a really a decent uh, option for you. Uh, and then one other thing as well with this is the running back route. This is uh, an underrated route, or excuse me, I, I've underrated it here, but you see if you, could pay, you can really pass lead it through the zones, and so it's really a nice option. So a lot of good things from this formation, uh, but a couple key uh, notes that I want you to take away with um, is that, first and foremost, we look for quick reads, and, and I, I love speed. Uh, in my opinion, you have to have speed as an offense. Secondly, we look for a formation that we can... As far as we're looking for play setup, let me rephrase this. First and foremost, we're looking for a formation where we can read if they are baseline or not. 
that's key. Secondly, we like to try to see if they are blitzing or not. The cool, the hard part about compressed sets is that everybody's near the line of scrimmage, and so you know they can send several different players. When you're in a spread set, you're spread out. They're not going to be sending those wider blitzers because it's going to take too long for them to get to the passer. Normally, they're going to be pinching guys in, shifting guys around, that kind of stuff. And so that's kind of the uh, that's kind of that. Uh, and then also the other thing I like to look for as far as like actual play setup is something that I can run inside zones or halfback draws out of and then also in closing uh, something that I can throw like quick routes uh, in, my, in my base play as far as the format as far as kind of the blueprint I like to have two quick reads I like to have something that can be man and something that can be zone I like to have a user catch option if they have cover zero and then I also like to have you know typically like a deep uh, levels concept and, and what you're seeing here with this is our quick reads we have those Cole Beasley and Des Bryant and it's actually the main passing principles we're going to be using here. Get the ball to your hands quick. Crossing patterns, in my opinion, are very underrated. Um, they're very simple. Uh, you're just bringing them right across. And then these little hitch routes, I love those. I love the way they sit against zone, uh, and I love the way that they work this year. And then also, your uh, principles in your your aggressive catch is deep and there that wasn't you know triple coverage so I would you know normally go underneath but I just wanted to th throw the route to show you uh, and then also one other thing there you see Witten with the high pass love the high pass this year but anyway that's the idea with the base formation what we're looking for some of the things you can do so hopefully you found this video appreciative guys if you're really excited about the scheme of the week I know I am can't wait to break it down for you we're gonna give you some really good offenses we're gonna teach you how to win with Jameis Winston Marcus Mariota Tim Tebow all these guys we're gonna show you some really good schemes so thank you for watching I hope you really appreciated it if you guys want to check out more of my stuff go over to my YouTube channel and uh, the link will be